Let's talk about Azure App Services runtimes. And so let's define what a runtime is. A runtime is software instructions that are executed while your program is running. And so runtime generally means what programming language, libraries, and frameworks you're gonna be using. And so uh, runtimes for Azure App Services are predefined containers that has your programming languages and probably some commonly used libraries for those languages installed and probably commonly used languages for web frameworks. And so the idea is that you're gonna choose your uh, runtime. It could be .NET, .NET Core, Java, Ruby, which I'm very disappointed in Azure because uh, as of shooting this video, they do not support uh, Ruby for application insights, but yet they have it here in Azure App Services, Node.js, PHP, Python, and there's all the logos, uh, if you like seeing the logos. And so Azure App Services generally has multiple versions. So they have like Ruby 2.6, 2.7. For PHP, they have a lot of versions. For Node.js, they have a lot of versions. Uh, but I just want to point out uh, that it's pretty common for cloud providers to stop or to retire the old ones at some point to stop supporting them. Uh, you know, that's just because they want to keep things modern. Um, and the other thing is like, it also helps you keep with your best security practices. Cause really you should always be trying to upgrade to the latest version, uh, for those security patches and, and things like that. So there you go.